Here to talk? Keep it quick. I'm not big on small talk. I took a bounty contract that went bad. A group of spacers hired me to white-line this hotshot pilot who was damaging their ships. But they forgot to mention the guy was a fleeter. When his buddies heard I'd nixed one of their own, they came looking for revenge. They shot up my ship and towed me to the middle of nowhere, then emptied my cargo hold and left me to die. Assholes. No, I haven't. You don't end up with a long career as a hired gun by taking bad contracts. I don't plan on making it a habit. Don't know. My ship's instruments were toast, so I couldn't tell time. But it was long enough that the pistol they left me started looking like a good way out. Thanks for the lecture. I never would have taken that contract if I knew my target was a pirate. Only nut jobs with a death wish mess with the Crimson Fleet. Those spacers better hope I never see them again. Screwing with me is one thing, but my ship got trashed because of them. That's worth a punch in the face. Anything else? My specialty's always been kill contracts. I don't mind getting my hands dirty if the pay's good enough. The type of personal disputes people hire a bounty hunter to settle? Usually require a permanent solution, anyway. Longer than most people in my profession. I used to get my jobs through the Tracker's Alliance, but I work solo now. Less people getting in my business that way. No, we all go someday. I'm just doing nature's work. If it makes you feel better, nice people don't end up on my hit list. I'm not out there killing people's grandmas or anything. Nobody's asking you to. That's what people like me are for, boss. It's been a hell of a life. No family, no hometown. Just me and Lucky Lou traveling the space lanes. Handing out death certificates to the settled system's worst. Nothing to tie me down. That's the way I like it. My ship. You might remember her. She's the one you found blown to hell in deep space. No, not my style. My ship's the only partner I need. Machines are a hell of a lot more reliable than people. Not for me. I make my living white-lining criminals. That should tell you how I feel about most people. Can I get back to work now, or what? Lou's the only ship I've ever flown. I bought her off a trade authority pilot when I was just a young punk. She was basically just a pile of scrap with an engine. But her wings worked, which made her my ticket out of the well where I grew up. And getting out of there is the best thing that ever happened to me. If it wasn't for Lou, I'd be wasting my time pickpocketing strangers on the street and getting hammered at Jake's. You ever been down there? It's packed with criminals, and almost everyone's dirt poor. Not exactly kid-friendly. I grew up in Sub-17, one of the roughest eyesores in the place. My parents couldn't afford better. They made most of their credits as petty thieves. So did I, before I started hunting bounties. My pickpocketing habit paid for Lucky Lou. Her name was Luna when I bought her. That's where I got Lou from. Lucky is because she got off the ground at all. The guy I bought her from said she'd never clear Jemison's atmosphere without catching on fire. Shows you what the hell he knew about anything. No way in hell. Lou's not just a ship. She's my partner. I'd take her over any fancy Tayo starship.
Sorry to break it to you, but you might have missed your only chance. That repair kit you gave me got her started again, but she was barely running when I got to port. The guys at the repair shop said she needs a new engine. And I haven't taken any contracts since we started working together, so credits are tight. I can't afford that kind of repair. I guess old Lou's good luck streak might have finally run out. Are you serious? I've been a better employee than I thought. Thanks. That's really nice of you. If I can pull the credits together to get her engine fixed, I'll take you for a joyride or something. Are we done here? That's a relief. 